live in the same spirit, you would actually be willing to work together for the greater good of the Filipino people, join forces under one candidate, not only have your own supporters support you, but Filipino voters would see that, hey, these guys are willing to work together. Maybe they're worth switching over and voting for. Is this something that you would consider doing? That is out of the question. That's why we are here. Because we're offering ourselves, we're offering options, you know, choices to the Filipino electorate. And to unite under one candidate, we'll be falling into the trap of that particular candidate. Because yun yung, they, they've been working on it you know, for the longest time. Since the start, yan ang effort nila. Ako, for one. Even before we launch our uh, candidacy, you know, kami dalawa ni Senate President, I, we had at least two meetings already. You know, two meetings, uh, for that matter. Doon nakita ko yung ano intention eh. The intention was not to unite the so-called opposition, but to unite under one candidate. Unfortunately, yung candidate na yun, yun yung kumakausap sa amin, si Vice President Lenny Robredo. Face to face, dalawang beses kami nag-usap. Very clear, very obvious, ng intention is to uh, unite under her. And that's not unification uh, as far as I'm concerned. And that's the reason why we are here. We talk among ourselves, to offer ourselves and let the Filipino people decide who they want to be their next leader or leaders. Yun ang essence ng uh, ating uh, press conference uh, today or uh, pagkarap sa inyo. And to follow your line, ano, uh, yung, uh, yung premise ng uh, sinasabi mo, Melissa. By the way, good to see you again, Melissa. She was with GMA7 when, uh, when I was still uh, Chief of Task Force of Agat. Anyway, yun po, that's out of the question to put it uh, very uh, frankly.